Hello viewers, welcome to Joy's Kitchen. I hope you are all doing good. Today I'm going to show you a very typical Bengali curry. This is a bottle gourd and shrimp curry. Bottle gourd in Bengali we call lau, uh, which is a very watery kind of vegetable. But trust me, it's so good and very, very yummy. And I'm going to cook this bottle gourd with a shrimp because they, this vegetable goes really good with shrimp. Uh, and that kind of like a very light kind of curry, this one. It's not too spicy and it's very, very healthy and really flavorful. So stay with me and and uh, I'm going to show you step by step how I'm going to make this curry which is very simple and I hope you're going to enjoy the making of this curry so yeah so to cook my uh, bottle gourd curry I took two medium sized bottle gourd here because one's going to be a little bit small for me so that's why I took two and that's how it looks so yeah I'm going to cut them I'm going to peel them and then I'm going to chop them so uh, I peel the skin off and then I make them kind of like chunky pieces that's how because they're going to be really really uh, watery and they're going to melt because it's a very soft kind of vegetable so don't make them too small so that's the size actually we are looking for kind of chunky pieces so yeah I cut them like chunky pieces I took 100 gram of shrimp uh, to cook my uh, two bottle guard here because it's not too big bottle guard that's why one gra 100 gram of shrimp gonna be like fine and they are clean and uh, deveined. So I need one uh, medium sized onion finely chopped and one medium sized onion paste here. So one onion finely chopped and one onion paste. half teaspoon of ginger paste and one teaspoon of garlic paste ginger paste is little bit less than garlic paste so half teaspoon and one teaspoon three tomato chunky pieces you can see how i cut it and i took around two handful of uh, uh, coriander leaf finely chopped and one handful of coriander root finely chopped so I need coriander leaf and coriander root both because the most of the flavor gonna come from this coriander and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cook this coriander root with it and yeah so in a large or deep pot I'm gonna add around a uh, two and a half tablespoon of vegetable oil uh, to cook bottle guard curry you don't need too much oil don't add too much oil otherwise your bottle guard curry gonna be really tasteless trust me so add as as a uh, small as possible sm small amount of uh, oil as possible because this is a very healthy kind of curry so two tablespoon or two and a half tablespoon should be fine for my curry so I'm gonna let it hot first so now my oil is hot and now I'm going to add first my chopped onions. As I said, I don't need too much onion also, but I need my onion paste and onion, finely chopped onion together. So I'm going to fry these onion for one minute till they are lightly uh, softened. Just lightly soft. I don't need to make them like really golden brown because this is a very, as I said, this is a very light kind of curry. So everything going to be very light. So after around one minute, you can see my onions are lightly golden brown now. And now I'm going to add my onion paste and three green chili. This green chili just for a little bit flavor. They're not going to give any spiciness, nothing. As I said, this is a very healthy and very yummy curry. Lots of people complain that they cook a bottle guard, but they don't taste really good. So maybe one of the reason because they add little, maybe too much spices or too much ginger garlic. So the, the main challenge for this bottle guard curry is... Uh, we're not gonna add too much uh, spice or too much uh, dry spice here so now I'm adding my ginger garlic paste here which is half teaspoon of ginger paste and one teaspoon of garlic paste because I'm adding shrimp that's why I need a little bit of uh, more garlic than ginger just to kill the fish flavor so yeah as I was saying that don't add too much spice when you are cooking bottle guard because bottle guard have really nice kind of flavor and their own taste of it so don't kill it and coriander uh, leaf goes really good with bottle guard so try to add as much as possible coriander leaf not too much spices now I'm adding one teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder like very small amount one teaspoon that's it just for the color and one teaspoon of red chili powder red chili powder also not for spice just for a little bit of flavor and color that's it I'm not adding any other spices just 
वन टी स्पून ऑफ टर्मरिक पाउडर वन टी स्पून ऑफ रेड चिली पाउडर दैट्स इट दैट्स इट एंड नाउ आई एम कैन फ्राई दिस ऑनियन ऑनियन पेस्ट एंड द स्पाइस टुगेदर फॉर अनदर वन मिनट एट द सेम टाइम आई एम कैन एड लिटिल बिट of salt and then i'm adding uh, my coriander roots as well as i said most of the flavor going to come from my coriander roots and coriander leaves so i'm adding around one handful of coriander roots here and i'm going to cook them together for another 1 to 2 minute oh the smell from the spices from the coriander is so good it's already so good and coriander is like really good for uh, bottle guard curry because they complement each other it's so good So I've been frying my onions and coriander roots together. I added actually 1 tablespoon of boiling water as well not to burn my spices It's for 1 minute and now I'm adding all my shrimps here. If you want you can use prawns uh, like medium size king prawns or big prawns but I prefer shrimp for bottle guard curry because uh, I feel like shrimp have more flavor than big prawns. So I'm going to cook this shrimp also another 1 minute with these uh, spices. So after around 1 minute of frying, you can see my shrimp already changed their color. So now I'm going to add my uh, chunky chopped bottle gourd here. As I was saying, you don't need too much spice at all when you are cooking bottle gourd curry. Just try to add as small amount as possible of spices because and try to add lots of lots of coriander leaves and tomatoes ah oh, it's so good so now i'm going to cook these bottle gourd pieces with this shrimp for 2 to 3 minutes just like that i'm not going to add any water now i'm just going to dry uh, fry them together just to give bottle gourd a little bit of time to absorb all the flavor from the spices and from the shrimp So I'm going to mix all the pieces with the spices and I'm going to cook it for 2 to 3 minutes just like that without adding any water. So after around 3 minutes of cooking, you can see my bottle gourd goes a little bit soft now and now I'm going to add the gravy because already my bottle gourd going to re release lots of lots of water so i am adding around 3 tablespoon of 3 uh, teaspoon of sugar uh, this is another very important ingredient when you are cooking bottle gourd curry you have to have to add a uh, little bit of sugar otherwise you're not gonna, not going to get the proper taste of the bottle gourd lots of people don't know uh, that they have to add sugar that's why they they always complain that bottle gourd tastes a little bit weird so trust me you have to add a little bit of sugar and a little bit more sugar than as usual other curries so i'm adding around 3 teaspoon but i have the feelings i need a little bit more maybe later but i'm going to taste it and then i'm going to uh, decide it but at this moment i'm i added actually 3 teaspoon of sugar and now i'm adding around 2 uh, cup of boiling water because uh, i want a little bit very light and thin curry so that's why and my bottle got going to release lots of water as well at the same time so i added 2 cup of boiling water and now i'm going to cover the pot and i'm going to cook it for at least 20 minutes just like that at least 20 minutes that going to take After adding the water at the same time I'm going to add those uh, chunky pieces of tomatoes as well and now I'm going to cover it and cook my uh, curry for 20 minutes So after around 20 minutes that's how my uh, bottle gourd looks now these are like 75% done which is more than half is done and now i'm going to add all my coriander leaf which i told you i chopped earlier so around two handful of uh, chopped coriander leaf i'm going to add now as i said most of the flavor going to come from the tomatoes and the coriander's So if you if you think like oh she is adding too much coriander but trust me if you follow my recipe and cook it like that you're going to love your bottle gourd curry. So I'm adding around 2 handful. 
is quite a lot of for coriander but trust me the, your end curry gonna be so delicious and so yummy and bottle guard have uh, a very nice kind of flavor in it so that goes really good with coriander flavor and now i'm gonna mix my bottle guards and again i'm gonna cover my pot for another 10 minutes so they're gonna take like half an hour together again i'm gonna cover my pot and cook it for another 10 minutes and I added another teaspoon of salt actually, uh, sugar actually. So I added around four teaspoon of sugar as I said. That curry gonna be a little bit sweet, but very, very yummy. So after around another 10 minutes of cooking, that's how my bottle guard looks, which is done because I already pressed it and that's breaking really, really uh, easily and it's quite soft. If you cook more than that, that's gonna be really like uh, melt and everything gonna be disaster. So. That's the texture we are looking for. They are very soft, but at the same time, they have their shape. So it's done. So here you go, guys. This is my bottle gourd and shrimp curry is ready for you. And as you saw, this is very simple to cook and very less spiced and very healthy. And trust me, it's very flavorful. So follow my recipes and uh, cook it like that and enjoy with your family. So don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and follow my recipes and share my recipes with your friends, family and neighbors. And trust me, you should make this curry and eat it with plain boiled rice or roti or any kind of bread or on its own. So I hope you're going to enjoy the recipe and cook it just like that bye bye ta da